fifth graders, it's Miss Tooley again. On today's video, we are going to show you a few different instrument options that you can choose from when you choose an instrument for sixth grade band. Um, each week we'll make a video of a few more instruments to show you all of the different possibilities that you can choose from when you choose an instrument. Today's episode is all about the trumpet, which looks like this, and then the oboe, which I'll show you in a few minutes. Okay, the first thing I want you to do is listen to what the sound of the instrument sounds like. Here's happy birthday on the trumpet. The cool thing about the trumpet is that it only has three buttons. It uses three buttons, so the fingering is pretty easy. Where the challenge comes in when playing the trumpet is you have to use your lips and your muscles in your lips to change the sound. When you play the trumpet, it uses a mouthpiece like this, and you actually make a buzzing sound with your lips like this to make the sound. The stronger your lips, the more notes you can play. Here's what it sounds like just to play the mouthpiece. See how I can make that different siren sound? That's how you play the trumpet, with strong lips and fast fingers. Someone that chooses to play the trumpet is someone that would be considered a leader in their class. Um, they're not afraid to shy away from things. Um, they very, have a very strong personality because in band class, they're one of the louder instruments and they lead the band in some of our songs. Okay? Um, the next instrument that I want to show you is called the oboe. The oboe looks like this. It's a smaller instrument. Instead of making a buzzing sound, you have as a reed that looks like this. Here's what happy birthday sounds like on the oboe. The oboe is also a really cool instrument to play. Um, it's a little bit more delicate than the trumpet is. It has a reed that goes into your instrument that's very fragile. So if you're someone that like is kind of like klutzy, and they might you might bump into things a lot or break a lot of your different belongings, the oboe might not be a good option for you because this really, really delicate reed, if you bump it into something or it chips, it's broken and you have to start from scratch. Um, the oboe also has pretty technical fingers. So someone that chooses to play the oboe has kind of a unique personality. Um, you're very detail oriented. Maybe you liked puzzles or you're something into something that's really like intricate like that because they have complicated finger patterns for the oboe but it also has a really beautiful sound and it needs someone that's going to take the time and the effort to put forth into that to play something that's going to be worth it like that like the oboe okay so today i showed you the trumpet and the oboe if either of those in options interest you make note of that because we'll like ask you some questions about different things that you want to try and like always i look forward to seeing you next week when we show you a few more instrument options all right, bye, fifth graders.